What's going on YouTube? JWiz411 here, and today I got a video on key bindings for your mouse, in particular the Logitech G502, which is the mouse that I use. So I pretty much played around with some configurations on how to basically like enhance my maneuverability. And I'm sharing it with you all, so hopefully it'll help someone out when it comes down to like playing like your first person shooters like Call of Duty or Apex Legends when you know maneuverability is is a critical factor in the game before we get to the video if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you want to see my videos as soon as they upload then hit the bell notifications i'm going to be doing these videos quite often and streaming games and also doing tech reviews here and there so you definitely don't want to miss out just a quick backstory i've primarily been a console gamer for I think like the last 15 years but I have gamed on the PC before when I used to play games on the PC I was playing like Age of Empires or Metal of Honor Allied Assault I got pretty much played Diablo 2 through high school so I got like thousands of hours on Diablo 2 but as we all know gaming has evolved especially with your first person shooters a lot of things that you couldn't do back then, like sprinting and tilting left and right and things like that, you could do nowadays. So for those who haven't gamed on the PC before but want like the most accessibility as possible or people that are starting to get into PC gaming and they've tradi uh, you know, traditionally played on the console, this will definitely help you out a lot. It's helped me out. So as I said before, the mouse that I use is the Logitech G502, and I got it paired with the Logitech G815 keyboard. It's probably the best keyboard I've ever used in my life. But what makes this mouse so great is, right now you can pick it up for around $50, and if you look up the top 10 mice for gaming, a lot of times it's on the list. Uh, I can't necessarily say it's number one. I can't. I haven't used too many different mice, so I can't tell you it's that much better than another mice, but I could definitely say it's a good one, especially for $50. So the Logitech products use a software called G-Hub, which is basically like how you do all your configurations for any of their products. So starting out, this mouse has quite a few buttons. You got your right click, you got your left click, which are standard with pretty much any mouse. Uh, there's your mouse wheel, which you could scroll up and down. But something that's new to me is now you could push left or right on the wheel, and that functions as two other buttons. On the left side of the left click, you got these two buttons right here, which are by default set to DPI up and DPI down, which allows you to click those buttons and adjust your DPI settings on the fly. So on the left side of the mouse where your thumb rests, you also have a DPI shift. And when you hold this in, you have custom settings where you, let's say you want to snipe and you need a lower DPI so that you got better control of it. You just hold this button and it'll temporarily change your DPI to whatever you have it set to for the DPI shift. Then you have two other buttons on the side that are labeled forward and back on here. So where this software comes in handy is you can actually assign key binds to the mouse itself so um, what happens is when I'm playing like Call of Duty for instance and I try to bind these buttons to the mouse then it won't register those buttons so what you could do is you could come over here on this menu on the side click on the keys the keys tab and you could assign like pretty much any keys these are all keys that are on your standard keyboard right so let's say I want to assign this to the number one on the number pad. Now when I press this button, it's going to function as if I'm pressing number one on the number pad. That's what will allow the game to register additional buttons that it might not be registering when you try to set it up and the mouse is still configured to its default settings. Let's take a look at my settings for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. This is the 2019 version of it, not the one from way back then, uh, Call of Duty 4. 
So I went ahead and I signed the DPI shift to number one on the number pad. I've got number two right here, number three. Then on the top of the mouse, I got number four, number five, and the mouse wheel functions as number six. Now these are all on the number pad and the reason why I went with the number pad is because these are keys that aren't used in the game. They're also not used on Apex Legends, so it'll work just fine with those games as well, or that game as well. And I also went ahead and assigned the left and the right on the mouse wheel to number six and seven. So I haven't really just like had to use those necessarily. So I didn't bind them to anything on the game, but they are there also. Now this is this button right here is for a profile selection. If you have different macros set on your mouse for different games and you want to be able to switch to them here and there, but this Logitech G Hub software will load profiles of games and they'll switch to them automatically the moment that it detects that that game is running. So now I'm going to boot up Call of Duty Modern Warfare and I'm going to show you the key bindings that I'm using on it and show you how it works. Alright, so we loaded into Call of Duty. I'm in a private match right now. So I'm just going to explain like the concept behind the key bindings that I'm using. So I wanted to use both hands pretty much evenly to do everything that I needed in the game. That's primarily how uh, your hands function on consoles. Like your left hand controls most of your mobility, your right hand is your aiming and your shooting or uh, meleeing and all of these other things. But uh, so when switching over to the PC, it's like I had like maybe 10 to 15 buttons that I needed to use with my left hand on the keyboard and really on the mouse all I used my right hand for is to aim and shoot uh, switch between weapons with the weapon wheel but I wanted to be able to increase my mobility in the game so what I did was uh, remember I signed number keys to the uh, to the mouse buttons on the side so in particular, uh, let's say crouch and slide. So I, I assigned the chain stance slash slide function to number one on the number pad, which is what I changed the DPI shift to. So now when I need to crouch or when I want to go prone, I can either just click that uh, DPI shift button to crouch or I could hold it to go prone. So that right there allows me to, to pretty much maneuver and do all that I need to do without having to take my hands off of this, my uh, thumb off of, of the space bar when I'm jumping. So I could jump and crouch pretty easily. Um, and I mean, if you've been gaming for a long time, it might not make much of a difference to you on a PC, but to, make, to me, it makes all the difference in the world because it eliminates, you know, some of the uh, I guess brain power is the word I'm looking for that you have to utilize when you got to remember like oh I need to uh, press C in order to just crouch or I need to press control to lay prone like I didn't want to have to do all of that so alright so as far as the weapons and equipment with the way that I named the buttons on the mouse the button that's at the top on the left of the left click, the primary left click mouse button is number four. So that's what I use to quickly mount instead of having to press Z. Okay, number five is going to reload, which I could also reload just by pressing the R. And I'm probably going to change that because most of the time I just end up pressing R anyways. So on the side of the mouse, at the top of the two buttons that's at the top on the left side of the mouse, so number two is for my tactical equipment, and number three is for my lethal equipment, my lethal grenades. So that way I don't have to press, um, I'm not sure what those buttons were originally, but I could just quickly press whichever one that I need to use. And you know, this basically makes it to where 
the buttons that I need to press on my left hand can pretty much just stay on the movement buttons, the WASD and the space bar for jumping, the shift for being able to sprint or do your tactical sprint, I can just double tap the shift button. And it also freed up some other buttons that I feel like makes it a little bit more convenient for me to utilize that I didn't necessarily need where they were or they weren't in the easiest place for me to access. So take uh, applying shields, for instance, when you're playing Warzone, I apply my shields with Q. Um, I swap weapons with the the wheels on the mouse. I could ping with the clicking the, the mouse wheel. So... Let's see, I'm just going to show y'all how it turned out when it comes down to me being able to move around. Like, I think that I pretty much got a lot of, you know, fluid motion. And this helps my game out a lot because, um, you know, it allows me to do what I need to do, get around like how I want to get around and not end up getting confused because I'm in the middle of a gunfight and I'm trying to, figure out what button I need to press. Like, I never learned how to type, uh, actually, on the keyboard. I mean, I could, I could still type pretty fast, but as far as, like, where I need to place my hands and stuff, then, uh, yeah, I, this, this helps me out. Like, So hopefully it helps a lot of you all out. And it also allows you to use pretty much all of the buttons on your mouse. So, if there's things that I didn't cover as far as the key binds, then you could assign them however you want to, depending on your play style. But me, you know, I like to be able to get around. Like, I feel like motion is one of the biggest factors in whether or not you're going to be able to make yourself a hard target to hit and things like that. So, uh, yeah, this, this works for me. I'm pretty happy with it. And I don't have that frustration no more. Like, I used to... Prior to customizing my settings, I would get on here and I try to get, you know, play with the mouse and keyboard and I end up getting frustrated and want to plug in my controller to my computer. But ever since I changed these settings, I've been perfectly fine just playing on the keyboard. So like I said, if this helps you, then, you know, make sure you hit that like button. I definitely appreciate that. And as I said before, I'm going to be doing quite a few videos on like this gameplay and just different tips that I learned on anything from streaming to um, tech reviews. I got a PS5 giveaway coming up, so if you like, you definitely want to subscribe, and I'm going to be releasing the details soon. But um, yeah, I'm actually going to be giving away a PlayStation 5. So if you want a chance to win a PlayStation 5, then. Make sure you stick around for that. Um, but until that pretty much wraps up this video. So until next time, I just want to say, uh, you know, stay safe and stay tuned. I appreciate y'all watching. I'll catch y'all in the next video.